Oh no, he is actually going Diddy Kong. So I was saying, like, okay. Got to win his round three now. This is where the heavy hitters start coming in. Got like. What? Okay. For some reason, Kaikun's letting Muda start on Town and City. It's an interesting stage to strike to. Oh. Kaikun's just starting with a taunt. It's like, okay, Kaikun's just having a bit of fun with it. But Muda just not having any of it, going straight on the attack. That tilt just get him into the skies. Muda trying to capitalize on Kaikun's landing, but kind of just letting him land for free. Again, Muda is someone who likes to be on the ground a lot. Like, he likes to punish up in the skies like that. But in neutral, he doesn't like putting himself at risk by like, overreaching in the air or whatever. And of course, against Diddy, I don't know if you can really get away with that all that much because of how strong Diddy's ground control is between like banana, down tilt, and even like anti air fan. Like, Diddy's ground control is insane. Jabs, just get him out of it. Up throw, looking for the upper. Doesn't kill, not a 90, whatever. So. And down tilt, up smash. Classic Diddy. Just holding shield. Like, don't try and push Diddy's shield while he's got a banana in hand. Because he's just gonna let rip as soon as he's got on, like, a moment's opening. And once that happens, you're just gonna be tripping and taking big damage. Like, Muda's already at 53% right now. That flip here is gonna take the stock. A bit of questionable DI, but it, it worked. Paralyzer jumping over the banana. Again, I'm never convinced in the Diddy Kong matchup how you should deal with banana. Because it's generally a fair assumption that if you don't play an item's character, then the Diddy Kong player will have better control of the item. So Muda just like grabbing the banana and trying to play with it a bit is maybe questionable. And the up smash is not going to take it. Only 14% rage on Diddy Kong. Oh, but we've got Rage Zero here on Town and City. Oh, but yes, the side B instead of the RB. That might have been it. Up tilt not going to kill. Spot doesn't that up smash. Again, the weight foiled out ledge. Not going to kill. But again, back to stage safety. That spot dodge going to cost him. Not quite enough to kill. Banana, very dangerous, but flip kicking on, but still gets grabbed. Back throw, not going to kill. Not from that far up on stage, but he was flip kicking on every time there. Like, that was maybe three ledge situations in a row where Muda was just like, okay, he's got me pinned at ledge. He's Diddy Kong, like, he'll do that. But, so what I'm going to do, he's got me pinned at ledge, so I'll just go over him with flip kick. Like, it's got uh, intangibility on the start of it. It'll be pretty safe. But of course, it's very punishable at the end. Like, it's a big hitbox that can just be like, yo, it's, you've got stuff under you, but if I can just like go from the side, then you're gonna be eating damage. And that's exactly what Kaikoons did there to take that game. And now, Muda just like looking inside himself a bit, like, okay, where am I gonna counter pick? Like, the ZSS stage did not work out for me. Of course, only having one ban, um, He's guaranteed to have either Battlefield or Dreamland open. Or he could just run it back. Um, he's hovering over Smashville, but I'm not convinced by that pick against Diddy Kong. I think we're quite like, yeah, Dreamland. Um, Dreamland is probably Muda's favorite stage. Um, helps his ladders with like average height ceiling. Not low like Town of Cities, but it is average height. Gets caught in these up tilts. Managing to flip kick out to avoid the continuation of that combo. Oh, sneaky. Like, looking like he was going to cross up with Bear. But instead, just landing in front and jabbing. Yeah, something I'd like to see Muda implement a bit more is, like, edge cancelling these flip kicks. Like, he spams them a lot when he's in disadvantage. So to, like, add in the edge cancel to make that a little bit safer would be really nice to see. Like that, you can see him not going anywhere near the edge of the platform. 
and that forward smash, not going to take it. CSS recovery, absolutely insane. Down air off stage and still make it back. Look at how he's like in that regard. And again, flip kick back onto stage to avoid the mana. Like, I don't know if this is Kaikun's conditioning or just like Muda habitually, but when there's a banana on ledge, Muda always flip kicks over it. And that up tilt, yeah. Why they give that as a kill move, I don't know. But Diddy Kong. And again, it's like, oh, there's a threat of banana. I'm going to flick it. And it's a really, really punishable habit. Up throw. Looking for the double bear. Guess the double bear landing on the platform. And again, like, you can't edge cancel aerials in this game. It doesn't matter if it's CSS down air or what, but you can't do it. So you're just going to be landing with a load of lag if you don't hit the auto cancel. Uh, boost kick, not gonna take it. Up tilt, calling out that jump from ledge. But again, Diddy Kong is like heavy enough that that stuff's not gonna be killing yet. But that forward smash gets the sparks, but good DI from Muda coming out. He's not gonna lose this game yet. Muda currently sitting on his winner's record stock, and that up tilt is gonna keep him in it. 96% now on Muda. Like, Muda on Dreamland, it's not impossible. It's got to be careful about those air dodges. Up air is going to take the game. And if Kaikuns had lost that game there, with his just, like, ridiculous offstage barrels, that would have been magnificent. But that was 2-0 to Kaikuns. Survival!